welcome back I'm Jim and today a uh, little bit of a deviation from the gearbox as I'm waiting on a few bits uh, have a look at that if you've not seen it already what I'm looking at today is this cylinder head and as you can see it's pretty rusty and I can't really do much with it at the minute uh, mainly because of how rusty it is um, I'll show you now this has actually got two valves stuck in it uh, the valve guides are horrendous. Uh, I genuinely think this has come from the bottom of the canal, but it was cheap on eBay and it is a genuine GT head. So, maybe worth saving, we'll see. So with it being a GT head, I do want to try and save it because they're few and far between and it was so cheap that I figured, at the very least, if I can't save it, I'm going to learn some stuff from it. Um, there are a couple of ways of getting the rust out of a cylinder head. You can use electrolysis, uh, which I might come, which I would like to do an episode on that because I think it's pretty interesting stuff and I've used it quite well in the past. But it can leave these black deposits. Now, if they build up in the water galleries and the oil galleries, and I can't see them, I also can't do anything about them, and that's what I'm trying to avoid. So, what I have is this citric acid really cheap you can get it from the supermarkets a couple of quid uh, the intention is to put this in a bath not our bath because uh, my wife will kill me but this plastic box here is going to serve as a bath put the head in uh, i'll probably put some something underneath it just so it's got um, so it's raised up a little uh, so the water can get around and have a proper go at it i'm going to put some warm water in and most of the packs I'm going to put in about 150 to 200 grams of uh, citric acid, mainly because of the size of the bath and the head. And I'm going to leave it for a few hours. I'm just going to keep coming back and having a look at what difference it's made. It's a really good one. So if you've got anything like this, you can put this in, go make a cup of tea, get on with some jobs, come back and hopefully, fingers crossed, we've got a clean cylinder head. So let's get it set up. Yeah, so it took a bit longer than I thought, but the temperature is, I'd say, comfortable bath. Uh, I'll show you what I've done. So, as you can see, it's all set up. Uh, and to keep it agitated, I've got a small pump here. Um, this is like a, a small pond pump, but I use it just for lifting water out of the water butts in the garden. Uh, with a piece of hose, I've put it on the uh, thermostat housing area. So hopefully that'll draw in water here. Uh, push it along this hose all the way around here and keep moving through the head Let's turn it on and have a look well, That's a good sign Yeah Let's See Yeah There we go, right time for a cup of tea and see what it looks like in a couple of hours Cool, right, well that's set up. Uh, so yeah. Oh, that is full of water. There we go, I can see it now. So if I'm just rubbing that with my... Oh yeah, wear gloves for this. We're actually getting some clean metal there. All that is is just me rubbing it with my hand. There's a bit where I drop my camera into the water. So yeah, we're actually getting some cleaner metal. I wouldn't say it's ready to stop. I mean, we've only been we've only been going for an hour, so I think it's showing promising the results. I think a few more hours. Got a few more jobs to do, so I will check back in on it. But I think uh, for the minute, I am very happy that this is doing. doing something. I mean, look at this. That is so much better than what it was. It's definitely. Uh, what the? What's that? 
Oh, it's bringing out some horrible stuff from these uh, these old water galleries. Oh my word, this. I genuinely think this was found either on the Titanic or at the bottom of the ocean. It is horrendous. Oh, dude. I'm going to put this on again, leave it for a few more hours. Water's still warm, spiders definitely drown. Um, and come back in a bit and see what the result is. Right, I've left it for about four, five hours now. Um, Water's definitely mucky, so it's clearly pulled some more stuff off. I'm going to get the head out of here uh, and just give it a bit of a, a rub down and just see what it looks like. I mean, if I can run my finger over it and the stuff's coming off, like you can see there, if I just do that, it's sort of coming off. So, get it out. We'll have a look. There we go. Yeah, that bit is what we were looking at earlier on. And that is looking real nice. Yeah, it's brought a lot of the, this surface rust off. I, I'm, I'm amazed that this is only four hours worth and I've not done anything to it. You can see I'm just literally running my finger over it and the rust is coming off. It looks really good up here. As you can see is a good clean metal now. Not orangey brown toss. Um, whilst I'm here, before I get too far into it, I'm going to set and get a wire brush and just give it a bit of a scrub and see what it looks like. Well, that's really cleaned it up. God. Base is better. I mean, it's going to need a hell of a skim when this go, if this works. But I think for now, I'm tempted to throw it back in, leave it for a few more hours, possibly overnight, and just see what else we can do. Because I mean, generally it's looking good. So that's it. I think we'll put it in for tonight and uh, see what what it looks like in a few more hours. Right, it's been just over a day, uh, 24 hours that is, and I might have forgotten about the head being in here. Who's to say? I think it's time to pull it out. Uh, I'll show you why. Mmm, look at it. Look at it in all its dirty glory. Right, I'm going to turn the pump off because we don't need that right now. Oh, that's grim. That does not look like it's any good for anybody. Right, let's pull this out. Oh, Christ. That actually looks pretty damn clean. Try and not drop anything in it. Oh, my word. This has come up so much better than I was expecting. I mean... Looks great. Right, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Uh, that is generally just water, water, filth, and uh, citric acid, which is low pH. So the intention is that will be safe to go to drain. So I'm going to get rid of that, and then we're going to come back and have a look at this head. So as you can see, given the uh, the head a clean and a dry, and it is looking brilliant. I cannot believe how well this has come up to say 
it's just been in a bath for, for a day. I know it's going to need some work. Clearly the bottom is going to take some, some skimming to even get right. Um, and that's something I'm going to have a look at in the future. There's no major rush on that. Really what I want to do is uh, use this for some uh, development work uh, that I've got planned for the future. Um, but to say people thought this was a written off thing, I'm really happy with how it's come up and I'd totally recommend doing the same. So if you've got anything that's cast iron, that's looking rusty and needs to be cleaned, this takes no effort. I mean, just put it in a bath for a day with some um, citric acid and that's it. That's all you've got to do, walk away, do another job. You know, you can get on with stuff and not have to get filthy. Well, any filthier than usual. Um, and it's done. It's brilliant. Totally recommend it. Um, what else do you think I should do with this head? What would you like to see? Let me know in the comments. And uh, if you haven't already, please like it and subscribe. I'll see you soon.